guys, it's Jonathan with The Positive Pin and Project Positivity, and I am here with Luis Munoz. Now, I was introduced to Luis through my girlfriend, Pilar. Apparently, they went back, they met back at uh, BCBG, something like that. That was her. She said she met you through Cassandra, Lazzi. That, that's right. Way back, I guess, North Star Mall days. Right. Oh, yeah. That was a long time ago. And uh, Luis is extremely positive. The very first time I met him, you know, like I've said in some of the other videos, people, they, they radiate a natural positive energy. And I love meeting people like that. So I'm glad to finally get you on, on film to explain to some of our fans and myself, what do you do? So let me start off with, with acknowledging you with a positive pin for your yeah, tremendously positive attitude. Thank you for your contribution to, you. to San Antonio. And Thank you so much. Absolutely. It's, it's my pleasure to give that to you. And you do a lot of things, right? You, you're an entrepreneur. You have a bar. And then... Because I was on the way over here, I was like, what, what else does he do? He's like, oh, he does everything. You do producing? And yeah. My, my main thing that I'm known for is I'm a TV producer, director. And some people say, well, is that what you do for work? But I don't consider what I do work. I really don't. And, you know, I always tell people, I don't like insulting my father and my grandfather who actually work for a living. You know, when we first came to this country, uh, we didn't have a lot. So my dad was doing these, these uh, jobs that were hard jobs. He worked for a living, man. He used to work 14, 15 hours a day. Me, I'm on the beach directing, you know, in Grand Cayman. I'm on cruises. I travel, and I have a lot of fun doing it. Most of the time, I'm behind a desk typing scripts. So for me, it's what I'm known for. It's just a passion of mine. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, I do a dab one, a little bit of a business as well on the side. How does that saying go? If you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. Something like that. Yeah, that's so true. It's 100% the truth, you know, I, I'm real blessed, man, I gotta say, and I'm real lucky that um, I, I'm one of those guys that gets up and wants to come to work because my work changes every day. Yeah. So again, you know, it goes that, that word work, but it's um, coming to the office every day for me is just fun. You know, I, I love what I do and so I, I don't feel like, oh man, I have to go into the office or I gotta do this today. I, I always feel like, oh, I'm gonna be challenged today. How did you get into it? Because I'm sure like a lot of people that may watch this video, mm -hmm. they're doing like the nine to five grind. And like, gosh, you know, I would love to have the ability, the opportunity to, to look forward to going and doing something I love. How did you get into it? I owe me being in this business to a girl named Yvette Rodriguez, who's on my Facebook. And um, she was a friend of mine from high school who introduced me to the business at a time when I was like tired of being in the restaurant business all through high school I worked in the restaurant business and I hated it after that <laughs> and so she was a TV host and one day she invited me to this um, to this concert and she took me backstage in the green room and I saw this guy that was like handing out cards and talking to these real famous artists and he was like call me we'll do lunch and we'll do and I was like you only see this in the movies right <laughs> so I'm like who 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 is that guy, Yvette? Who's that guy right there? And she says, um, oh, that's our director. He's a producer, but he's our director. And I said, that's what I want to do. Yeah. It hit me, man. It was love at first sight. That's and awesome. That's how I got introduced to it. That's great. And then the bar? How long did you start that? Well, I used to own a nightclub here in town called Metro. And that's kind of how I got started in the night business because I'd always entertain my clients. And anytime I was like in Miami or New York and I would see a place, I, I would be like, man, I, I want to I have something like this. Yeah. Um, really, I just wanted a place where I could tell somebody, let's go have a drink at my place. That's how stupid I was back then. It was just like, that's all I wanted. And so I started putting it out there, you know, into the universe and just, you know, asking for it. The opportunity came up to link up with these guys here in town. I had the nightclub for three years, got out of it. I said I would never do nightlife stuff again. Uh, then I ran into um, a guy here in town who's very well known, but we'll leave his name out of it. And uh, he approached me one day and said, why don't we do a, a bar together? It's called The Local, right? The Local Bar. What's yeah. the address? Uh, 600 North Presa. 600 North Presa. And it's not like local, like local, it's like local with an L. <laughs> yeah, we're in San Antonio, not local. Right, 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 right. And come by, get a free drink. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. No free drinks, I'm just kidding. Mention my name for a 10 cent discount. There you go. There you go. It's a great bar. We've been there. It's a, it's a neat place, so you're yeah. doing good. And, and I want to tell our fans, in case you haven't seen, or, or if you don't know, Luis, and you're not a Facebook friend, he, he posted this great post because everybody, well not everybody, but a lot of people will post, hey, I'm at the gym, I'm working out, and, and what was that great post you said? You know, I just put, some people should stop spending so much time at Gold's Gym and spend more time at God's Gym, you know? Yeah. And I use, you gotta understand, I use the word God universally. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I use the word God as not so much religiously or spiritually, just as something that's greater than yourself. You know, that, that connection to that energy. Mm -hmm. 
some people nowadays, you know, in modern society, they um, they, they want to say, well, I'm not religious, or, or they or they want to say, I am religious, I'm not spiritual, you know, but to me, it's all about just having that connection, man, to something that is beyond you, you know what I mean, a, a humility type of thing. I absolutely believe it. You know, a funny thing about the positive pin, if you look at it, some people think it's a cross, it's not, mm -hmm. it's actually a plus sign, it's a merging of mm -hmm. the think, the thought bubble, and then the plus symbol. And I had a person say, oh, it's a cross and I'm Jewish, I can't wear a cross. I said, well, it's not a cross, it's a plus sign. But even though you're a particular faith, it doesn't mean you cannot think positive thoughts. So I just thought it was kind of interesting how that person said that they couldn't wear it because it was a cross. I love it. The, I, the message I is profound. It. I mean, mm -hmm. we, need to, we need as a society to think positive thoughts more often. We're so blessed. I agree. We're so blessed. I agree. So tell us real quickly before we wrap it up, because I, I like to keep these pretty brief and hopefully impactful. What are your goals for the next five years? What do you want? Where do you see yourself? Uh, you weren't expecting that one? Yeah, no, no. Huh. Spiritually or just with your life? Well, you know, let me back up. What are some of your practices to stay in a positive mood? Because I, I gave a speech the other day, and I, and I told in the speech the four things that I personally do mm -hmm. to start my day off right and to stay positive. What, do you, what are your practices? You know... I, I get up in the morning and I meditate and pray every morning and um, I try to, I'll be honest with you, I try to find um, something every day to be excited about and a challenge, you know, to keep myself motivated. I, I try to look for things that are going to motivate me, but honestly my real motivation and passion in life is trying to help others find their motivation. Mm -hmm. So every day I try to think about, okay, how can I make an impact? on one life today or call up a friend I have and talk to and motivate them if I see them struggling. So that keeps me going. As, as far as business goes, you know, I, I'm not the kind of person that gets bored so quickly uh, with, with business and with projects. Um, so for me, you know, within five years, I just see myself doing, I, I've never done a uh, movie of my own. I've helped produce other people's movies, so I want to produce my own movies, maybe direct a couple movies, bring them here to town. Uh, maybe have another small business down the road. But ultimately, in the next five years, I just want to continue to learn, man, and uh, to learn and grow because I feel like I'm on this planet to just soak in all this energy and to learn. And, and I feel that as I'm learning, I'm getting the chance to, to help others spiritually, you know, with, with just their goals and stuff. Yeah. So that, that's it. I just hope to be a better person, continue to be a better person in the next five years. We're all here on this planet, I firmly believe, for a reason, for a purpose. So and it's, our, it's our duty to find out what that reason is. And I don't know what mine is, but well, I, part of it. I think this is part of it. I wanted to spread positivity. And although this, this doesn't pay the bills, it makes me feel good. And it's not all about making money. It's more about being able to finish your day and say, you know what, I had a great day. I, I, I talked to somebody or I met somebody because I met, we were having lunch the other day and our waitress was so sweet. And so I gave her a positive pin and she absolutely loved it. And she connected with wanting to stay positive because she had gone through some challenges. Remember that, babe? Uh, so anyway. Is it the best feeling when you make somebody else happy or do something for them, whether it's in the material world or the spiritual world, but when you do something for them, just seeing that happiness in them, I mean, to me, that's like the most amazing thing on the planet. You can't put a value yeah. on that. No. On inspiring somebody or making somebody feel better about themselves. You know, I just want to say that just to, on my side, to wrap it up, that... I think that if people really realize uh, out there, you know, especially friends and, and people that I don't know, that if you don't focus on money, like what you just said right now, you don't do this because of money. If you don't focus on money and just focus on good energy and happiness, everything else will fall into place, you know? And it's when you focus on just wealth and money and whatever that, I know billionaires that are like literally billionaires that are not happy. Mm -hmm. So money's not the end all be all. I think it's just inner happiness. You're right. I spoke to some middle school students and I, and, and as kids in our youth and our unfortunate ignorance at that age, we all think that money is the answer and, and, and I told them something that, that I had heard and, and, I, and it said, I said, if, if money was the answer, then every rich person would be happy and it's obvious that every rich person is not happy. People, millionaires take their lives, so money isn't the answer. Right. It's, a, it's a sort of a self-satisfaction thing inside. So. Well, thank you for doing this, no, man. I really appreciate no, you doing appreciate this. It. I appreciate the positive energy you're putting out there. Thank you. Guys, if you want to get a positive pin, you know where to go to. It's www.positivepin.com. And if you want to see other positive, motivating people like Luis, go to our blog. It's www.thinkpositiveblog.com. And we'll see you in the next couple of days with another inspiring, positive person.